Fords are by far the biggest employer in Dagenham. About 25,000 people work there, many coming from the immediate area. Though the current close-down may have lost Fords over £3 million, the cost Dagenham pays can't be put in figures. With 8,000 potential customers now out of work, local shopkeepers are already suffering. Is your trade particularly affected because oh, people don't it's decorate their homes? More than any, anybody, you know. You know, this face, they've got to buy bread and things like this, but we're wallpaper, it comes under luxury goods, doesn't it? Because they've got to cut down, haven't they? Because they um, just can't afford it. And so you've got to look at it this way. Most majority of people around this area have got some work involved with folds. Well, it affects us in, you know, everyone cuts down on their money, they stop buying. I lose a dinner time trade, you know, like Paul's. They start buying little things instead of the apples and the oranges. Just the basic essentials, greens, potatoes, onions, carrots. How much has your trade been affected by this close down? Uh, we estimate about 40%. It's down 40%? It's down 40% at the moment. After only three days? Yes. A matter of two days, this particular week. Dagenham has been a prosperous town for many, many years. But on account of these strikes, we all suffer. Everyone in this particular district suffers today on account of the strike. The area's anxieties are echoed by the two local councils most affected, Barking and Havering. The two mayors have been united by the problem. So how seriously do you, as a local authority, view what's happening now? Um, very, very seriously. More so if it comes to a state that falls do certain the complete close down. Uh, this would have a, a terrific adverse effect on the community as a whole. As it would ripple through, you know, your shops would have less demand and therefore the householders would have less money to spend in them and they would themselves uh, budget accordingly and we're worried that this could adversely affect youngsters and so on. What would your reaction be if the company issued and carried out its ultimate threat, which it has issued before, that it would pull out? Well, I'm totally opposed to that and I would hope that uh, the government uh, would uh, step in and make sure that they didn't uh, remove their uh, uh, product production from the Dagenham area. From a local authority point of view, uh, we would make our protests about it. I'm sure the trade unions would make their protest. Probably would prevent them going out. Um, might be another UCS, I don't know, but um, I'm, sure they're, um, I'm sure that they'll, uh, they'll see that it doesn't leave this country and I should hope that the government would do the same. Does it bother you at all that what you've done could lead to uh, serious hardship for the community as a whole, the whole area? Oh, of not course. just the workers at Ford? Yeah, of, co of course we're concerned. We're not in business to create strikes, but of course, when we get involved in a principal issue, trade unionists completely stand behind the principle. When we've been involved in this, we have a, a very large employer at, at, in Dagenham, a Ford Motor Company, with its, what, 25,000 employees. And of course, uh, repercussions and, uh, that are involved in industrial disputes have its effect broadly uh, in the local communities. Is that something that you regret? We can't regret it. It occurs. We regret it occurring because we would like an industrial relations uh, technique that prevents that. How can you see that happening, though? Isn't, isn't well, it inevitable that when you take strike action like this, you're going to adversely affect the community? Well, we hope that perhaps out, perhaps out of this, uh, what seems to be a confrontation of what you said was a rather small issue, really, an incident between a worker and a foreman which was a every day of the week incident in most industries which are resolved without a large confrontation. How seriously do you fear the management's threat that has been used before being used again of, of pulling out and this time uh, leading to really pulling out? Well I, I, I certainly don't in any way uh, uh, see this, uh, this situation. I'm certainly confident that we'll have a, certainly have a motor industry in Dagenham uh, for many many years to come.